everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces and today I'm going to be doing Paul Stanley's makeup from KISS. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off using white and you're going to outline the star on his eye. Okay, the best way to do an outline of a star is to basically put the five points of the inner corner of the star down on the face first. So show you what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to move this one over. Now once you have those five points down, you're going to go in between the two points, which is right about there, and you're going to move out just a little bit and put a dot down. So once you connect this triangle, you will get your star. So in between these two points, you're going to move out and put a dot down. In between these two points, in the middle, move out put a dot down. Maybe a little bit further out. <clears throat> and you can kind of already see the outline of the star. So we're just going to go ahead and outline the star. And all you're going to do is connect the dots that you just made. Once again, you don't have to be neat because you're going to be going back in with black to outline this correctly. <clears throat> so now using a large brush, I'm going to be filling in the rest of my face white. And I think I'm going to start with my eye first and just cover that with the sponge. I get a lot of questions about what kind of paints I use for this and I use a water-based paint. Um, this is Wolf Brothers uh, paint. You can get it at, I think it's Wolf Cosmetics or Wolf FX, WolfFX.com is where you can get it. <clears throat> but the only thing is, is this is water-based so it's really not going to hold up under like a lot of um, sweat or harsh lights, it's, it tends to sweat off. So if you're wanting to have this all night long and you're going to a concert or something, I would not recommend using a water-based paint. I would actually recommend using a grease paint, like a cream-based paint. The reason why is because you can set them with, um, a powder and they will last all night long. Now I'm not doing this tutorial to show you how to make it last, it's just to show you the technique that I use. Um, you can use the same technique when you're using a grease paint. So it's just, I'm just showing you my technique. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I did do a um, kiss party and I used grease paint on everybody there and set it with powder and everything. And this was the same exact technique that I used for that party.
Now once you get the white base down, what we're going to do is go back in and fill in the eye on this side with black. Okay, and now is the time that you want to be really careful with your star and make any type of corrections you want to make to your star in white before putting down the black. Um, first I'm going to go in and fill in my eye area with the sponge. It's just a little bit more comfortable than using a brush around the eyes. But first you're going to outline your star. And you want really straight, crisp lines. So if you don't get a crisp line the first time, just um, go over it again with your brush. Now when I did the Kiss Party and I was using the grease paints, I still used a brush. And the reason why is because it gives you a lot more control. Okay, so now once you get the star that you like, you're just going to go in and fill in the rest of the area black. But just be careful, don't do like I just did and mess it up. So now that you have the star done, you are going to go back in and do his eyebrow and his eyeliner. Now for you guys, you can probably just outline the eyebrow that you already have. But I'm going to make mine's bit thicker. And from the pictures I'm seeing, he has a black rim all the way around his eyes. Um, if, you know, for KISS fans who know better, uh, if he doesn't have a rim of black liner on the bottom, don't put it on the bottom. But from all the pictures I'm seeing, he has it on the bottom as well. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lips, and he has red lips.
Alright, so there you have Paul Stanley's Kiss Makeup. Um, I do have one more Kiss video coming up, and that'll be the end of my little Kiss series. Um, I think the hardest part about this design is going to be the star. So just do what I showed you and put your dots down so that you know where um, to place the lines for your star. But um, yeah, and do a better eyebrow than this because this looks horrible. <laughs> Alright, well I will talk to y'all soon and hopefully this video helped you out. Thanks! Bye!